Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will be using an online tool that is called NEB Builder Assembly Tool. With the help of this tool, we can design the primer for a gene that length is usually longer than normal. Let's suppose we can see that in this gene, the overall length is 6494. So it is possible that maybe in one cloning reaction and in one PCR reaction maybe it is hard to clone this gene so we can clone this gene into two parts or three parts so this this tool actually will help you to design your primers in parts so uh, what we need to do we will simply just copy this sequence and uh, divide into two parts we can open a word file yeah and we can simply paste here let's suppose uh, these are two pages so if from the first page we we can consider it as the fragment part one and uh, we can just simply highlight like in the yellow part and the second fragment can be highlighted in a different color like the green part so uh, let's design primer for this gene into into two fragments so what we need to do, we will simply just copy the first part. This is the first part. So we will simply go to uh, Google and uh, we will write NEB Builder Assembly Tool. Yeah, when you will click on this, the first link will be of NEB Builder. You can simply click on this yeah so uh, this window will appear so uh, you can start with the new fragment when you will click on the new fragment uh, it will give you an option to add a fragment sequence so because we will only paste the sequence so we can simply click here on the paste so here we can just paste the first part of the sequence and here we can write the name of sequence so uh, because we will use as such so we will not change because this sequence is from 5 prime to 3 prime so we will not change this so uh, we can just name this gene like uh, like this gene we call it sub part 1 because this is the fragment part 1 so uh, it is also showing that uh, it is starting from the base 1 to 3240 so we can simply click on add because now the first fragment is added and now uh, we can see that the overall primer forward and reverse primer for this fragment have been built by the assembly so now we will add the second fragment so we will click on the new fragment and we will take the second part that we have highlighted in green one we can simply copy and uh, we will go back here and uh, paste the sequence it will just proceed this sequence and now we can name this fragment as sub part 2 because this is actually one gene but we have divided into two part so now we will simply click on add so now we can see that four primers have been designed by this software automatically so uh, the good thing with this software is that that it will automatically generate overhang for forward and reverse primer so that later on you can individually clone this fragment and this fragment then with the help of these overhang you can just link them together so uh, how we can we will just simply click on done or we can also uh, use this setting to edit build setting so we can first click on done so we will see that uh, an export summary in the form of pdf is ready so we can also change these so uh, let's suppose in this example we can simply export this summary so we will see that 
uh, here we can uh, see the overall build setting because we are using this so we will see that an overall assembly of this gene has been downloaded so actually uh, we can see that this is the sub part one this is sub part two so this length is 3260 and this length is 300 uh, 3274 so these four primer have been generated you can just simply uh, send these sequences to the company and the company will send you the primer so we can see that here it is showing that uh, in the build setting it is showing that uh, we you can use neb hi5 dna assembly cloning kit and the over length and it is showing that this fragment is circular so because this our fragment is not circular it is just uh, the linear so we can go back and we can change these added build settings so because this is not circular so we can uncheck this option and if you want to use the different cloning kit like you want to use simple uh, master assembly mix and you if you want to use other polymerase like the simple tag polymerase so i often use this one tag dna polymerase so uh, then you can leave other things as such you can click on done when you will click on this done so now you will export uh, a summary in the form of pdf a new form will download so now you can see that now this there is a break in the round circle and uh, it is also shows that this form is not circular so now our primers are ready this is the forward primer and uh, this is the reverse primer for first fragment and this is forward primer for second fragment and this is reverse primer for second fragment so uh, we can see that these uh, letters which are mentioned in the small uh, are actually these are the overlap spacer or overhangs which will be used to link these fragments together so hope so you, this with the help of this video you can learn how you can design your primers in the form of fragments either if you want to fragment make fragments three or four it is up to you and it is up to your gene length hope so this video will be helpful thank you for watching bye bye